Hi guys, it's your girl Kemi, back with another quick video. I'm back with another one guys. <laughs> if you're new to my channel then welcome, welcome and if you're already a subscriber then welcome back friends. Um, so for today's video I just wanted to share some tips for how we can develop our relationship with God. Um, a while ago I did do a, a video just generally around how God wants us to draw closer to him and he made us for a relationship and wants a relationship with him so I'll link that definitely do check that out but after you finish this video so I wanted to share some tips as to how we can do that and you know I feel like newer Christians might find this very useful but generally I feel like all of us no matter how long we've been walking um, in our faith with God can also benefit from these reminders including myself you know we can we can all benefit from being reminded right because life happens and sometimes we might lose sight of these things that we might already know so yeah with that in mind let's jump right into the video so tip number one is to spend time with God um, I know it sounds basic but really and truly it's just to spend time with him like quality time if you think about how you want to develop normal relationships just with like your friends or family or partner you do that by spending time with each other that's how you guys grow closer when you have that quality one-on-one -on -one time um, and you should not reserve that for Sundays like it shouldn't be the case where the only time you are in God's presence or you're deliberately conscious of him and aware of him and bringing it, bringing him into your surroundings is on Sunday that should happen throughout your week um, because you know Sundays are for or whenever you go to church that's when you um, are spending time in community that's for fellowship that's to have that corporate you know environment where you're all fellowshipping together and sort of encouraging each other and just being around each other just fellowshipping with one another you know so that's what that's for but your one-on-one -on -one intimate relationship with God is you know throughout your week that's your time with God so make sure that throughout your week you are making an effort to spend time with him and like I said that's quality time with him and that can be through your personal bible study time through prayer through worship um, that should be happening throughout your week and it can be in a less like typical sense like going for a walk even when you're watching a movie you can say lord let's hang out like I want to spend time with you and that's it's more about your mindset like your you're deliberately aware that he's around you and you're focused on him in that moment and you're spending time with him like you're like okay this is us god right now in this moment it's us kind of thing so don't leave that for just sundays make sure that that's happening throughout your week um off the back of that tip number two is to make time for him um I feel like sometimes we get the order wrong where we might prioritize our life and our busyness over God and we sort of push him to the back burner and we kind of think to ourselves oh I'll pray if I have time or I'll read my Bible if I have time that's sort of the wrong order of things at the end of the day nothing else matters more than God no job no relationship you know he's number one and even the Bible tells us he's a jealous God like he really wants our time and he cares for us and just wants to be with us so we have to prioritize him and make time for him like carve him into our schedule rather than leaving him for whatever's left like the dregs of our time so let's say you wake up in the morning and you're um, rushing off to go and you didn't get time to you didn't get to s spend time with him that morning and then you you know throughout your day you're going task after task after task no stopping and you're so tired by the time you, you're done at the end of the day you just want to pass out and you you know again you're like oh I, I'm too tired like I, I can't I can't uh, spend time with God to combat all of that if you um, put him into your routine like make a dedicated time or times you know say okay Lord this is time for me and you like I'm gonna honor this time with you um, consistently and it's not about length at the end of the day it's about consistency honoring him and prioritizing him and saying like I know everything else is going on around me right now but this time I'm not gonna sacrifice this is for me and you Lord this this specific time that I've set aside is for me and you um, you know no matter how busy our days are no matter how long our to-do list is he um, wants us to prioritize him and when this whole world passes away guess what's left God you know so we do we do have a, a duty to fulfill on earth we have things to do yeah I'm not telling you to be lazy and cast everything aside I'm just saying like 
it's like get on with your day but make sure that we have that prior that that order right that priority order right you know it's to be god first and then everything else so let's just make sure that we are making time for him and when it comes to our disposition we are more so god focused than earth focused we are here on earth but we are kingdom minded we're heaven minded so make sure your all your attention is not too much on the things of this world the things you have to do here but more so on him because like i said when everything passes away he is what will remain and we will be with him so we'll do well to remember that and actually make time for him to develop our relationship with him and then tip number three last but not least is to get to know him um you can spend time with someone all you want like even think about even earthly relationships you can spend time with someone but it can become very surface level very superficial because you don't really get to know them intimately you don't ask meaningful questions everything is just small talk small talk you guys don't really go deep and you know uh, get to know each other's likes dislikes history um love language behavior like mindset all those sort of things right that help you really get to know a person um if you don't do all those things you won't um go beyond that surface level relationship so it's the same thing with god like you can be in his presence you could be worshiping you can be praying all these things but then you haven't really gotten to know him intimately so the first step is to obviously you've given your life but then after that if you don't try to strengthen that relationship then you can find that it grows cold or that you feel distant all of a sudden um, obviously it's a two-way thing but remember God is God so he already knows you intimately like the Bible says he knew you even in your mother's womb he knows every hair um, on your head you know he knew you before you were even in the in your mother's womb so he already knows you intimately but then you don't know him intimately unless you get to know him and the way to do that is through his word um, you know it tells us all about him in there what his character and nature is like what he likes what he dislikes how much he loves us why he made us what his will for us is um, all sorts of things so much information about him is in there and that's how we get to know him and when we do that the result is a stronger you know sense of loyalty affiliation deeper connection more intimacy it doesn't stay surface level we really feel connected to him and you know the more connected you are with someone the more your relationship is strengthened the more you grow oh! I lost my necklace guys um yeah i would just encourage you to get to know him more so that you guys can become solid you know solid as a rock <laughs> i'm not gonna sing that song but oh i love that song anyways what was i saying yeah i feel like if we do these things you know our relationship with god can only grow the same way you would invest in your earthly relationships to grow them is the same way you should with your relationship with god um it's really that simple I, I can't think of how else to put it and uh, so yeah i mean i don't know again what to say so i'll just leave it there i hope this has been helpful guys <laughs> if you made it all the way through to the end you're a real one thank you so much for watching you know it's always fun when i just you know i like talking to you guys because yes do me a favor smash that like button it really helps me out it really really helps me out like hey joe please just just have mercy on me just please i beg you in the name of god eh throw it alone please don't come for my yoruba <laughs> but please just help a sister out smash that like button um subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed join the family join the bubble um comment down below your thoughts on this video and let me know if types of videos you'd like to see um regarding faith and stuff like that and yeah yes I always forget this one make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when i release a new video i drop videos every sunday and yeah thanks again for watching guys i really 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 do appreciate it like do you understand like show gets like i really appreciate it so um yeah i'll see you in the next video until then ja mata bye bye